Hello and welcome to Meditating in Build a Boat for Treasure. Just get in a comfortable position and just look at the portal. Breathe in, breathe out. Why does it not go? <coughs> okay, so maybe the portal is not very good for meditating in Build a Boat for Treasure. Anyway, good day, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Build a Boat for Treasure, or as we call it, Build a House, because this is the series where we build a house. You guys know this. Only you don't know this if you're new. Anyway, we like to build a house, and this is the house. And I made a new sign, as I showed in a previous video, but I didn't really look at it, so let's look a little closer at it. I made a new sign, uh, or a new entrance. I made some pillars here above the wall, and then on top of it, I put a little dino. I like the dino that is made of blocks. It is the updated version of my very first channel logo. I don't know how many of you remember. That was like more than two. That was like two and a half years. More than two and a half years ago, actually. We made the very first logo that I tried to make. I made a dinosaur made out of blocks and it looked like this. I put it on a Roblox shirt. Uh, this is the updated version because you can make this one out of blocks very easily. So this is going to be, I guess for now, the new logo. I really like it because it's like building and source because it's blocks and in the shape of a dinosaur. So all you have to do, all you need, you can do it in Minecraft or in Build a Boat for treasure or whatever you want okay you need six blocks one and then on top of that you put three and then here one and then here one that's it that's all you need you can do that in minecraft too because you have blocks in minecraft and you can do it in any game where you can build and you have blocks so that's why i like it so much so that is what i made this is actually the first thing that i've made in build a boat for treasure with the new scaling update i know i haven't been playing a lot since the new building updates um but it took a while to get this name exactly correct and also especially this title so as you know one time i asked you can i have a special title and he gave me the title dino king so i thought that would be so cool and then i looked on google for a cool pixel uh, crown and I put that on top of it. So it says Dino King and then there's a little pixel crown on top of it And of course on the sides there's two more dinosaurs looking at it and they have a chair upside down That's the crown. Okay, because it's Dino King So I guess maybe this is the Dino King and it's the Dino Queen. I don't know So I guess that's a little bit of an announcement of the new logo. I guess I don't know. I really like this logo Tell me what you think um, Because before we start this episode, I just want to show a few things that I made uh, before we start making what we're gonna make today okay so here i made the basement a little better uh so you go down here da -da -da -da, just walking down the stairs into the basement uh, okay so you guys might remember this this is the prison that i made i actually made this part exactly perfectly at the very bottom okay so i'm not even kidding i just fell from the portal right from the portal i fell here on the ground so i can fall as much as this if i would fall one block lower i would oof because we are below the map so we are at the exact bottom part of the map if you fall lower you will oof so i have found out something interesting maybe i think some of you probably already knew but you can actually go lower as long as you don't fall so let, let's try it out for just a second let's try it out for just a second so let's say if i make okay so if i make this you see how this block is half only it's only half a block lower one stud that's what it's called in roblox one stud lower okay let me try to jump on that Okay, so for this one it works. Maybe it doesn't work if I fall from higher. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Do we have jump candy or a jetpack? I just oof jumping on that block. Okay, so if you do a normal jump, you don't oof yet. But if you jump from higher or fall from higher, you oof there. Do you see that? So the, the gray ground that I put down there is exactly low enough that you're safe. If you go lower, you can. So that is what I want to uh, uh, build in the future as well. I have an idea where we could build below here. We could make a stair that goes down. And then we will call everything below this gray floor. I don't know if it has to be gray. It can be any color. Anything below this floor, we will call 
the danger zone because you literally you cannot even jump if you go too low below this floor you cannot jump because the game will count it as if you're falling when you go down and they will think that you're falling out of the map so you will oof so that is what i've made uh that is uh, uh what i made the little prison i just i just thought of it really quick honestly i didn't have that much of a plan for the six 66666 subscriber special so i very quickly made this prison but i think underground it would be really cool to make several things but i've decided that what we're going to do today the hall of plushies what i want to make i think i don't want it underground and this is because of a game that i used to love or actually i still love it a lot and it is called medieval one of my favorite playstation one games and after every level you could go to a place called the hall of heroes and this place was like full of statues of famous people in the game like famous heroes in the game and in the first game it was actually like some kind of base not basement a dungeon with like the gray statues and the gray walls it's kind of a little bit boring but then they actually remade it into a new game called medieval resurrection which was a remake of the game anyway it doesn't matter but in the remake of the game the hall of heroes wasn't on the ground anymore they actually made it in the clouds it looked really cool i think i always thought that looked so cool it was just like this holy place in uh in the clouds it was kind of like heaven just this hall where the statues and everything was made of like white and gold and so beautiful so i thought i want to make something in the, like that but with plushies so that's why i have made so that's why i've made a place in the sky oh yeah by the way this is uh batman pumpkin yeah, not, not, nothing more to say about that. This is heaven. Not not really, but I just made a little platform in the sky. I think this is high enough. I wanted to see how high you can go. I still want to do this one day. Make a platform that high in the sky where it starts glitching. You know when you get too high in the sky, you get start glitching. But I think it's like a hundred times higher than this. Like it's super high before that even starts happening. So I think this is high enough to make our hall of plushie so let's build a hall of plushies kind of like the hall of heroes in medieval resurrection we can build a hall of plushies where we will put all the plushies and of all the heroes the plushies will be of heroes so we will need of course the chill plushie well chill of course already has a real plushie uh, and we want plushies of everyone okay so i made a little yellow beam around it so you can actually see the sides everyone welcome to the hall of plushies this place will one day be full of plushies in every episode we can build a new plushie well not every episode but we're going to build a lot of plushies here of everyone who deserves a plushie so now we have to think of who is going to be the first plushie of this show who is going to be the first plushie Who's going to be the first hero to get their plushie in the Hall of Plushies? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I will probably put the entrance somewhere else because it's just boring. We will probably make it into like a really cool looking gate. But first I want to at least put the first plushie in it. So the first plushie, where is it going to be? Huh. The blocks are being a little bit glitchy. I don't know why. But you get the idea. You get the idea. It's a stairs. This is where you enter. This is where you enter the hall of... Mm, plushy. So, let's see. Where's the portal? Okay, 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 okay. So, you take the portal. Okay, it's the portal. Is it working? I broke the portal. Did I not just use yellow? I thought I just used yellow. Okay, I need to go down to check out the portal. Uh, I thought I just used a yellow portal. Was it painted a different color yellow? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'll put the entrance somewhere else for now. For now, I just... I don't care about the entrance yet. I'll make it better looking later. Like, I won't put stuff around it. Okay, so you enter, and here we are. 
the Hall of Pluches. And it will have multiple floors and multiple departments where we will have the developers of the games, the moderators of the channel, all the people who we think are really cool get their own plushies here. That's what I think. Okay. You know what I also want? You know what would also be really cool? If, if the floor would be... If on the floor you would have like a red carpet that you could walk on. Oh, that looks pretty cool, I think. And then next to the carpet... Next to the carpet uh, you will have all the plushies. Standing on their pedestals. Okay, so I'm going to make the first pedestal. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the first pedestal. Does that look good? Is that... Is that should I make it white? I feel like if I make everything white you can't see anything anymore. Maybe it needs to just have a texture. Maybe we should just make it out of uh, marble instead. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, so here... this I guess this looks pretty good for a pedestal that we can put a plushie on. I've already been recording for so long. Okay, so maybe we will build our first plushie. You know what? Actually, it would be really cool if you guys got to vote for who gets a plushie. Like, do we make a plushie of me? Or one of you guys can get a plushie? Or we make a plushie of other people? I don't know. So I guess for now, we will use this one to use an already existing plushie. So on this one, I will put Chill Thrill. Eh, eh, sit in the middle, Chill Thrill. Wait. There we go. There we go. So when you enter the Hall of Plushies, the first one you can see is Chill Thrill. He needs to sit a little bit more in the back, I think. A little bit more like this. Oh, that is nice. Now imagine if there's like a hundred standing in a row and every pedestal has a different plushie on it. And then there's different floors. Like you can go to a floor where there's like YouTuber, wing, the wing of YouTubers. And in that wing of the hall of plushies, there will be only plushies of YouTubers that we like. And the hall of, I don't know, different, we would have different wings. And let's see, I think maybe in the corners I will make like spiral staircases going up to the next floor. Something like that. I know some of you guys know how to make a really good spiral staircase. So let's do that. Anyway, I can't believe I've already been recording for so long. Maybe I've been just wasting my time. I don't know, but um, I think, I guess this is enough for today. Tell me if you guys like the Hall of Plushies, if you like the idea, and if you think I should keep working on it, or if you think it's a super bad idea. But I think it would be really cool if it was so super full of plushies one day, and maybe in a live stream we can make some more plushies. We already made a guest plushie once. Uh, I don't know if I still have that one. Wait, let me save this. Two hours later. It's this one. No, this is my tiny Godzilla. Oh, no, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't, okay. I think I don't have the guest anymore. But some of you might be watching who were there when we did a live stream. I tried to make a plushie uh, and I made a little guest plushie. So I think it would be cool if the Hall of Plushies becomes really big with a lot of plushies in it. And of course, no one gets into the Hall of Plushie until they have done something special. Because it's of course in the game where I got the idea from in medieval it's called the hall of heroes and you don't just get into the hall of heroes unless if you do something truly heroic so if you have you have to do something special to get into the hall of plushies as well so I think Till has done something special because he made the entire game so he deserves a spot and maybe you guys can think of people who've done something special that we like. Something maybe for the channel, or something for the dinos, or something for the game, or something for you guys. I don't know, if you can think of some people who deserve a spot in the Hall of Plushies, let me know. Okay, I kind of wanted to build my own plushie today, but I've spent too much time talking. I'm sorry, why am I so much of a talker? I don't know. So here's another place for another plushie. Where where are they? Okay, worthy. Oh, I don't have my worthy plushie. 
Oh, I think that's somewhere in the house. Okay, we need to get the worthy plushie. Then here goes the Fabi plushie. Okay, you get into the hall. Ooh, okay, so that looks really cool. Of course, we can put the worthy plushie. Okay, so here, chill, Fabi. Uh, I don't know where my worthy plushie is, actually. I have no idea. It's, I think it's probably... Oh, it's here! Someone once made a chair for him. Someone who made the original house made this place for the worthy plushie. I forgot who made this. I think maybe Lego Arduino made this, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm sorry, worthy. Um... You're going to have to move. Uh, okay, I will leave you here for now. But maybe in the next episode, Worthy will move officially to the Hall of Plushies. So, and we need a better place for this gate. We need a, we need to make like pillars around it and stuff. We would have like um, big like greek roman building style pillars around it and it will be made of of course the same kind of colors white and gold just like the the hall of plushies i can see it from here though i can see the hall of plushies from here it looks so small so high in the sky Anyway, yeah, okay, that's a lot of ideas that we need to think about together, and I hope you guys can leave some comments and some ideas, what, what are your ideas, maybe you think it's terrible, let me know, I hope you guys really like it, and if you have some ideas, who deserves a plushie in the hall of plushies, I really like this, I'm picturing it in my head, and it's, it's looking really cool, in my head at least it's looking pretty cool, save it again, just in case, we have to save it a thousand times, just in case. Okay, okay, so now it is being saved. That's the end of this video. Uh, tell me who deserves a plushie. I already said it like a thousand times. I'm sorry, I'm so bad. Why am I so bad at ending videos? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for 67,000 subscribers. I hope you like the 66666 subscriber special when Evil Source took over. And now we're going back to normal videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. Super big thank you to everyone who supports me as a member on YouTube or a Patreon on Patreon. Their names are on the screen right now. Thank you friends so much. Without you, it wouldn't be possible for me to make these videos. If you also want to support the channel, the links are in the description. And if you don't have any money, you can just share this video and like and subscribe and do all the nice things, especially just be a nice person. Thank you so much. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.